The Syrup Magic Carpet Pro video slider has a lot of features that solves a lot of problems and has um, kind of an innovative design that I haven't seen on other ones. So it is very easy to set up. It's easy to extend um, the rails uh, and it's even easier to kind of swap. And I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. And they've integrated all of this into their design, completely toolless. Everything is mainly flip locks. So it's very fast to set up. Um, the other thing is that it's beefy. So this is not those light uh, carbon fiber rail sliders. It's got some heft to it, but it's designed to support um, a heavier payload as well. So let's just dive into it and let me show you what this is. Uh, first of all, it comes in a really nice bag. Uh, the bag has these Velcro straps, holds everything down nice and tight. Um, this right here is an optional set of rails. This is a longer set of rails, as you can see. So what we could do is we could swap the parts. We can move the legs and the uh, carriage over to this set of rails over here, and we have a longer slider. The other thing we can do is we can actually merge these two rails together so we can have a really long slider. In fact, you can get extra rails if you want and just keep adding them on. And it's very, just, it's very fast to set up in the field. So um, that's one thing that I like. Uh, other sliders, you had to have um, some tools, and if it used a belt drive or a counterweight, then you have to swap the belts to a longer belt. Um, so it just took too long to set up. This one, there is no belt. There is a counterweight flywheel system here, but that is driven off of gears that are actually built into the rail. So on one side of the rail here, there's actually um, some teeth, and that is what drives the flywheel. So there's no belts involved. Anyway, so let's take this thing apart just to show you if you wanted to move parts over or if you wanted to add rails. The feet over here, just to show you how this operates, there are some flip locks, just like that. So if you need to kick your legs out, you need to uh, level out the slider on unperfect surface, you can do that by just using these flip locks. Now taking the legs off, is as easy as flipping these locks here on the side. So there's one on this side, one over here, and then these legs come right off. And we would attach that onto uh, those legs. But really easy to put on and off. Just lock them down and we're done. Now, in order to take the carrier off, you would just take the legs off and then slide this thing out. Another neat feature on the Magic Carpet Pro is a quick release base for your fluid head. If you're packing the slider up back into the bag, you can eject your fluid head basically and then when you're going to set up you can just drop it back on I'll show you how that works they do have a 3 8 thread here but they do include a quarter inch one as well now when you have the base on here it is locked in place so there's a little lever here which you use to unlock it but your fluid head won't come off until you actually push this in so it is a quick release but there is safety built in so we have to push this button in and then we can eject the little base here. Now we can have our fluid head installed. When we're traveling or when we're packing stuff away, we could quickly eject our fluid head, pack this up, and then if we need to um, get it back on here, all we have to do is drop it in place. As I said, there's a quick release um, switch on the side here, so you slide this over and that's gonna lock it down. And after that, your head is permanently installed. Now on one side we do have a bubble level and over here is the lock. So if we just lift this up, we'll be able to slide the slider back and forth. Now as you notice, the slider is kind of free to move, but underneath here we do have a counterweight. Now this counterweight is not engaged at the moment. So that is another neat feature is you have the option to either engage the flywheel or not engage the flywheel. To do that, what you gotta do is press this little button here for the flywheel and when you press it, now as you move this over, the flywheel is engaged. And that will basically smooth out um, your movements. The flywheel will spin, it'll ramp up, and then as you get to the end of your movement, it will ramp down. So you never get that jerky type of movement. So as you can see here, if we move this, the flywheel will start to spin. But if we disengage the button here, and then we were to slide this over to the side, the flywheel would not spin. So it's a free movement basically. So if you wanna move a lot quicker, you could do that. Once you engage the flywheel, there's sort of a sweet spot on how fast you can go. Now you can go slower, but there's sort of a max speed on how fast you can go. And that's what I'm finding on most sliders with flywheels engaged. 
Um, but this one right here is neat because the flywheel is not something that you add on. It doesn't uh, create imbalance on the slider. There are no belts again. Just on the side here, there are some like teeth on this uh, rail here to get the flywheel going. The slider is actually really smooth, but if you ever need to make adjustments, they have a simple adjustment that sits right under the fluid head. So what we do is we eject the fluid head by unlocking the lever. And then underneath here, we have this little dial. And you would just adjust the dial to adjust the wheels um, and at how they engage with the rails. So all it takes is a few uh, little turns on this one to make it uh, tighter or looser and that depends on your setup but uh, that will help you adjust the slider if there's any tolerance. I'm not sure you can see it but uh, there's some rollers on the inside here and then there's some hooks on the carrier. Now what that will allow you to do is add some counterweight so in case you're doing a vertical slide you can add a kind of a rope on this end with a counterweight and that will help you move up and down without uh, much resistance. Now on each end of these rails, you see this attachment here. This is so that you can add on their optional accessory, the uh, Syrup Genie, and that will add motion control. So you could either do one axis or even a full three axis movement on this rail if you add on the Syrup Genie. Now just to show you how simple it is to remove all of the parts here and move it over to a different rail, um, we're just going to go through the steps. We're gonna unlock both sides of the legs. I'm gonna slide this off. Unlock the carrier, slide that off, and our rails are out. Now we can take our longer rails. Now on these longer rails, they sent these attachments here. This is if we want to join the rails together. I'm not going to do that just yet. What we're going to do is we're just going to take off these extensions because we're not going to use them right now. And we'll put the legs on directly. Lock this down. Now on one side of the rails, there are some teeth and you wanna make sure that the brake lines up on that rail. So that's the way the carrier would slide in. Now on this side over here, we have the extensions. This again is if we wanted to join this rail with this and have a really long slider. Uh, I'm gonna take off these adapters here. We're not gonna use them. And then we're just gonna put on these set of legs lock this down and now we have a much longer slider again this is far easier than um, some of the other sliders where you have to attach the counterweight where you have to run a longer belt if you switch to longer rails um, this is all toolless and everything is just locking levers if we wanted to pack this up to go home again the feet are very easy you just flip these locks fold this over Same on the other side. No twisting thumb knobs, and this would be able to go right back into the bag and we're ready to go. Um, again, the quick release plate for the fluid head, it's easy to take off, but if we wanted to get set up at our location, you just drop this in, lock it, and flip your legs out, you're ready to go. Just for kicks, let's go ahead and throw on the other rail just so you get an idea of how long we can get this. First, we're going to use these levers, pull the legs out. We're going to add these extensions. Add our other set of rails. Lock them down. Add the legs. Lock these down, and there you go. We have a very long slider, and the rails are virtually seamless. You can't feel anything. Um, the track on the inside here, again, is used for the counterweight, so we would engage it, and we'd be able to have a really, really long slide. Again, this is a beefy slider system, so this is gonna hold a pretty heavy camera like the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Pro uh, with a big V-mount battery. It's going to move on here, no problem.
The footage has been really smooth and it's been great. So if you guys want more information about the Syrup Magic Carpet Pro video slider, I'll have a link below this video and also on the blog, cheesycam.com.